What's up everyone? So we are now at part two. Make sure if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. Basically, I end up following Khalil. He ended up following me back. And I was building rapport so I can get as much information. Ultimately, try my best to get information on the incident that happened in Cabo with Shanquella. There's a lot more I do have to show you from his stories and what he's up to now. And I do believe that Dejeuner and Winter is in one of them. Okay, because you can hear a voice and it's that deep voice. So you guys know there was a message that I sent when I asked him about, oh, where about in Mexico? Because he told me he went to Mexico, right? He told me Cabo. And I go, did you like Cabo? My friends told me just white old people go there, not a lot of things to do. Is it true? That sound hella racist. <laughs> Why did I? When I asked him how he liked it, he didn't respond. So I ended up responding to one of his stories with the eye. It was when he was in Vegas with like a coat on. And I remember Vegas being hot. It was a little bit chilly. A little bit. But he's like, what? I'm like, you got a jacket on in Vegas? He goes, that was in January. I'm like, it's cold in January? He goes, it was when I was there. I'm like, lies, you just Hollywood and want to wear jackets. Man, I'm just, I was just kidding. Before we get into more messages and stuff, let's get into what he's been up to. This was around July. So here he is at a gender reveal. He was, I was the great gender keeper. Yeah, I'm sure you're good at keeping a lot of things, just like what happened to Shanquella, right? So yeah, if anyone you guys can reach out to, it's these guys. You know, I'm pretty... It looks like his brother could be completely, they look like they could be related, could be his brother, cousin, I don't know. Um, it looks like he's a YouTuber as well, Cam So Smooth. And I know some of you guys will turn around, what can they do? They weren't involved, they know the people that were involved. They still hang out with the people that were involved. Cam So Smooth. What do you know? How would you feel if something like that happened to your daughter? You would want the person who lied to the family, ran away, their relatives, to speak to you, to give you some type of closure, to give you some type of answer of what happened to your daughter. You would want that. And I really suggest that they do it publicly because what happens is when they speak out publicly, it encourages others in their circles to speak out publicly as well. And at the same time, I feel for them because I can understand that's your brother. Your bro brother probably lied to your face and probably said, yeah, it was alcohol poisoning. Like who would honestly believe that their family member would be a part of something so cruel? A lot of them would choose to be ignorant and not look at the facts and be like, yo, you're not being honest here and you need to be accountable. So I understand the position that they're in. But at the same time, if he told you that, then speak out about it. If he said he was innocent because of this, this, this and that, speak on it. If you can't, it's most likely because deep down inside, you know they're wrong and lie to you. If that's what they told you. Because I don't know if they told you the, the truth and all of y'all are just crazy and you're like that and you think that's acceptable behavior doing that to someone's daughter. I really encourage you guys to go message these people and encourage them respectfully to speak out because if you're going to make them feel unsafe and give threats, no one's going to speak out. And if they don't speak out, okay, some activism will have to be in place. Allegedly, that's what happened to Alyssa. They found out where she worked, she got fired. Um, the nurse in Mexico, she's not working at that hospital anymore apparently due to people calling and asking them to speak out. But personally, you should go to their work and ask them to speak out. Okay, that's enough rambling. Then there's him getting drinks. Some, I don't know what that is. If that's alcohol or some drop, soft drinks. This is some food. Him going to restaurants again. Traveling again. Playing again, drinks, gotta suppress that shit. P 
peace and love, something he could never be because he definitely doesn't bring peace into people's lives. And that definitely wasn't love when he let Shanquella get beaten to death. No cocky ish, but I know the impact I have on people. Whether it be killing them, lying to their family, being a snake, being a hypocrite, you will always remember me and randomly think of me. I'm a dope person with a good heart. Bro, please, cut the bullshit. What type of person with a good heart lets their best friend get beaten to death, then have the nerve to be a coward, call the mother and be like, oh yeah, she died by alcohol poisoning, then go to the mother's place, lie to their faces, don't mention anything about a fight, and then when they find out, you run away. That doesn't sound like a good person with a good heart, Khalil. That sounds like a bitch. That sounds like bitch coward shit. That's what it sounds like. Bitch coward shit. Doesn't sound like someone with a good heart. I'm a dope person. I have a good heart. Please. What a joke. This is such a joke. This is the type of ish I would read it. I'd be like, bro, really? That's rare these days. Yeah, it's very rare to have a best friend that will murder you. Well... I know some people might disagree with that, but it isn't something that's common and can't be forgotten or replaced. Nah, no, it's pretty easy to replace basic, snaky, cowardly bitches like you. Him trying to sell some dusty clothing that he made. I don't know where that is. I'm not sure if he end up going to a private gym. Maybe because in a public gym, people will confront him. So chances are it's probably best he goes to a private gym. But with all that alcohol he's drinking, he's still going to get like a beer belly. Him promoting more of his dusty clothing. Get Rich Zay um, promoted, uh, promoted Khalil. Y'all should definitely reach out to him and ask him if he condones that behavior. You know. Watching his best friend get killed and then lying to the family's face because he's promoting him Why would you promote someone who that does that? So maybe he doesn't know there's the most possibility he doesn't know but y'all can go message this man as well Do a little bit of your activism today and ask him. Do you know what Khalil did to Shanquella? You only locked in when ish going good. I'm locked in through the storm and all oh, him trying to Talk about his loyalty because he definitely wasn't locked in when he let Shanquella get beaten to death. This one says, th see through it all, devil horns and sunglasses. This is another thing that is pretty interesting. You're going to want to see this. So, he follows Ricky, Shanquella's ex, right? And Ricky follows him back. Yeah. Now, it could be for a lot, lot of reasons, okay? I do find it weird, especially for Khalil to be following Ricky. I'm not going to lie, I find it weird. But it could be to keep tabs on each other. Another thing I did notice, I don't think at the time he wasn't following Nazir and Nazir wasn't following him back. So I do wonder if something happened between him and Nazir. But it's interesting that Ricky and Khalil are following each other. Happy birthday, Willow. You've been two since before, too. Me love you so much. Now get this right. When she grows up, she's going to see the internet. And she's going to see you as a coward. And she's going to question, like, what type of man... What type of person are you? You're not a man with honor, integrity. You let your best friend get beaten to death and lie to their family about it. Like, wow. What type of legacy are you going to leave? Him promoting another business, which I'm guessing there's some type of friends. I wonder if they condone that type of, condone that type of behavior. This is another thing that I think he posted about Shanquella. Missing the dead will have you so mad. Like, my dog really gone. Hmm, I wonder how she's gone forever. Maybe that wouldn't have happened if you stepped to the plate and was a real friend. Here's some more footage of at the gym. The sun, 
some song that he's listening to. I don't want to put it because the copyright talking about he's a goat. I'm like, boy, bye. <laughs> Okay, so here's the clip that it sounds like Dejeuner. We knew we couldn't get in here. Yeah, I told you that was on that toilet. Yes, but that's why. Yeah. We knew we couldn't get in here. I told you that was on that toilet. Yes, but that's why. It sounds like Dejeuner. The, the one that's like mediocre is in my champions. I can't remember. Him drinking again. Looks like he's picking materials to build, maybe make some more clothes. This girl is definitely someone you can reach out to. So it was her birthday, right? I found who she was because Khalil was like, I love you because it's her birthday, right? And you re reposted that. Obviously, she should definitely be careful with someone like Khalil. Let his best friend get murdered, lied about it. Yeah, she should definitely be asked respectfully, like, hey, has Khalil told you anything about this situation? Like, the parents really want closure. They're broken. Their daughter is dead. What has he told you? It's so important that you speak out. Again, if she doesn't, there's other, other forms of activis activism you can do. But the first one is to reach out to her and all these other people and ask them to speak up publicly. Basically, he made a post indicating that his friends will hang out with him in private, but they won't hang out with him in public and called them weirdo. Something like that. Some post like that. He has been so dead with me, right? Giving me like yes and no or that's what's up. And when I ask him open questions, he's like doesn't explain anymore, doesn't talk, nothing. But he's more than happy to open a picture that I send him. You know, photo bombs. I sent him like one and he opened it. It was just me at the gym. Nothing, <laughs> nothing crazy. And uh, he has no problem opening those. But he just got very dry. So I was like, you know what? It's been like three, I think this was in, okay, June, July. Near the end of August, I asked him, Oh, was it? Is this because of the? Sh I should never did this. this. This is why I fuck up. I wish I never did it. I could have just stayed, kept on screen recording all his stories and giving it to you guys. I said, like, is this because of the Shanquella situation? One of your friends told me about it. I was hoping it would build curiosity up, and he'd be like, which one of my friends? I thought he would do that, and there'll be some dialogue. But it wasn't. It was a complete straight up block. While you're here, you can go check out this video for the whole timeline of events. Explaining the whole situation. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out here.